Then one week later, the protests go on over the not guilty verdict in the George Zimmerman trial. Now, most have been peaceful as people vent their frustrations over the killing of Florida teenager Trayvon Martin. Tonight, News 8's Noel Gardner is live in Hartford where demonstrators have once again taken to the streets. Noel. Good evening. There are dozens of rallies happening in cities across the country, and Hartford is no exception. I want to give you a live look right now. Dozens of people are flocking here to Lozano Park. Hundreds are expected tonight, speaking with one voice about what they think is a travesty of justice. Mayor Pedro Seguera is attending the march, organized by Hartford community leaders Reverend Henry Brown and Cornell Lewis in support of Trayvon Martin. The Florida teenager killed last year by a neighborhood watchman. People attending the Justice for Trayvon rally are calling for federal civil rights charges against George Zimmerman. We were disappointed with what happened with Trayvon, but we're also disappointed with all the other Trayvon mind that nobody's talking about. And we're raising the conscience of America about the black men and the brown men that have been killed constantly in America, and no one seemed to want to talk about it. And I think that's a problem. I think we do need to talk about it. After the verdict where George Zimmerman was acquitted, a lot of people had a lot of anger and a lot of angst. And so Reverend Henry Brown and I decided to get together and give people a forum to speak right here at Lozada Park and try to do something more than just march. And this rally started at 6 o'clock and already a huge crowd here. Now the Hartford Police Department is here and it is a peaceful rally so far. We're live tonight in Hartford. Noel Gardner, News 8.